Welcome to the Voices for Voices TV show and podcast. I am your host, Justin Allen Hayes, founder and executive director of Voices for Voices. Voices for Voices is the number one ranked podcast where people turn to for expert mental health, recovery, and career advancement intelligence. Our Voices for Voices podcast is all about teaching you insanely actionable techniques to help you prosper, grow yourself, grow your self-worth, and your personal brand. So if you're a high achiever or know somebody who is, you want more out of life, whether mentally, physically, or spiritually, make sure you subscribe to our podcast right now or let your friends know. As you can see, the Voices for Voices podcast publishes episodes that focus on case studies, real-life examples, actionable tips, and in-the-trenches reports, and interviews from subscribers like you. If that sounds like something that you or somebody you know could help grow personally or professionally, then again, please make sure you join me by subscribing. So before we, we get started with this episode, uh, a quick programming note uh, for those that uh, are, are viewing this or listening uh, to this particular episode, uh, the Voices for Voices TV show and podcast first airs at 4 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. So that's when... And new episodes uh, are, are dropped. Um, and, and so if you want to maybe circle that uh, on, on your calendar or, or make, a, make a notation, uh, that, that would be uh, when, when, uh, when those drop. And we are televised here at the Hudson Community Television Station. And there is... Uh, there's, a, there's an app, and you can really find it you know, find through their uh, Hudson Community Television, uh, their Facebook page, or if you go to, uh, you find, find it through their URL, just on, on the web, uh, you'll be able to, to find. And so that's when uh, the, uh, the television broadcast, you know, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, every Wednesday, uh, you, you can find that. Uh, and then 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all prior episodes, and then once that 4 p.m. Uh, time frame from that, uh, that initial viewing on, on television happens, uh, all episodes, all, all past, and, and, and then including that, that one on, on Wednesday. Uh, if it's a half hour episode, you know, 4.30. If it's an hour episode, uh, you know, around five o'clock, uh, that that new episode, you'll be able to find on on YouTube, uh, all the audio platforms, uh, and we make announcements on our uh, our social media channels uh, platforms. Uh, so we do TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. Uh, I, 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 and then obviously yeah, YouTube, uh, we, we put a, a YouTube short together. We're starting to, to do that as well uh, to, to make that, that, that coverage expansive. Uh, so I just wanted to share that. Uh, we, we talk about a, a ton of topics, and, and I feel like I haven't, haven't mentioned that for, for a while or maybe at all uh, like through, uh, through one of our broadcasts. So... 4 p.m. Eastern Time, every Wednesday, Voices for Voices, new, uh, new episode drops. So we're going to go into some of the uh, milestones we, we hit in, as an organization, Voices for Voices, in 2023. Uh, in case you, you may have missed uh, our 2023 gala, uh, some of the, some of this information we, we did we did share uh, at, at that uh, particular event, uh, and then uh, again another program and note you can find all of our uh, galas. So the the one we had in 
last year, 2023, the one in 2022, and the one in 2021. All those are on our uh, Voices for Voices YouTube page, so you can find that uh, there. And our 2023 version uh, is actually out in 4K, so it's pretty pretty awesome to to check out uh, in, in in high def, let alone 4K. Uh, so it's a, really a treat if you if you have some time, you wanna you wanna look look through that and watch that that. That's uh, that's definitely worth 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 it. Uh, so, as you you may or may not know, we are in our third season. So, as we started, you know, uh, in season one, uh, episode one, uh, and now we're you know, well over a hundred episodes, uh, with a majority of them coming from uh, the, the the television studio here in Hudson, Ohio, Hudson Community Television. Uh, we are you know, grateful to, to have this opportunity and, and grateful to be able to, be able to bring this to, to you, uh, not only through the, the, the TV station um, and, and that broadcast, but again, uh, everywhere, YouTube, all audio platforms uh, here in Northeast Ohio, across the world, and we're really uh, just really thrilled to be able to be in our third third season so uh, we're going to be having our fourth fourth anniversary gala coming up in october and we're in our third season for the you know, now the tv show and podcast so pretty pretty awesome uh, to, to think of that that's where where we're where we're at um, last year so 2023 we earned our first grant and so up until last year, really, in 2023, our organization, we, we really didn't know a whole lot about grants. We, we knew it was money. We knew you could earn it or some, some of it for different, different reasons, uh, you know, whether it's you know, for the arts or uh, for you know, mental health or uh, whatever that may, may be. But we never looked into it. Uh, first off, because having uh, individuals and in, in the time, you know, as a as a volunteer organization, uh, that was that was just very very low on on the priorities. You're trying to get the website up and running, trying to get the career uh, website integrated with our VoicesForVoices.org page. Uh, we were working on getting uh, episodes filmed like like this to bring to bring to you uh, we were working on our our gala who we were going to have a speaker who who was going to uh, play the play and sing the music uh, we, we just had a lot of a lot of different a lot of different variables a lot of things that were, were going uh, so as 2023 started to progress and having the ability to, uh, I believe we did a five series, uh, ep so five different episodes with this, the Summit County Public Health Department, uh, which we're going to be uh, doing some, some follow-up, some year in review on future episodes. But through that, uh, that relationship and, and, and by having that collaboration, uh, I was made aware of a, a particular grant for organizations such as Voices for Voices, given uh, the, the work and, and the advocacy that w we do. Uh, and so we were made aware of it, took some time to research, um, and, and then filled out the documentation that we needed to, to fill out. Uh, we had an interview uh, to, to discuss uh, our organization and what we, uh, in specific and detail, we're going to use the dollars for if we were to earn any, any bit of, of uh, the, the, the actual grant. And so after through that, that whole process, we, uh, we were notified that we, we did, that we, we earned a, uh, a grant. So we earned our very first grant of any kind. Uh, and this is in the form of uh, 
uh, you know, a, a check to be able to uh, what, what we're calling uh, Project Purple, and that's bringing this content to you, being able to get the guests to make sure that every episode is as premium as, as can be, uh, to, again, have awareness of our organization in the community, uh, and have it be around the, you know, the mental health, the opioid addiction uh, uh, epidemic that, that, that's still, still happening. Uh, and then the healing that, that is, is uh, starting to, to also go on. And so having our organization be able to bring some, some of that content to the, you know, the general public uh, was deemed beneficial from the Akron Community Foundation, which is where the, the grant was uh, uh, funded from. Um, so we're, again, very, very grateful to, uh, to have had that op opportunity. So we're, uh, we're having our eyes open, seeing here in 2024 uh, what, what options, uh, what, what we can focus uh, you know, some of our time and attention on. Uh, and again, uh, our organization, uh, we, we run on donations, uh, like many cars run on, on gas, fuel, airplanes, run on, on jet fuel. So if you're able to, every penny helps. Uh, the donation link is in the, the description. Uh, so if, if, if you can help out in any way, we appreciate it. If not, still please enjoy the, the, the content, the interviews uh, that, that we, we're, we're bringing to you. And, and at some point, maybe, maybe that, that will, will change. So our mission trip in 2023 uh, was to Kiev, Ukraine. So I was able to kind of co covertly uh, not share completely with my family exactly that I was going to, to Ukraine in the middle of you know, the, the uh, unprovoked Russian aggression. Uh, and so I was able to go there, uh, meet a lot of the people, experience air raid sirens, talk with a member of the Ukrainian parliament, uh, and, and really just be immersed in a community and in a nation that is living life in a much different way. So regardless of the political spectrum, you know, should we fund Ukraine or shouldn't we? Uh, what I know and from what I saw in, in, in the mission trip is one of the reasons why I I think it's important to, to do those from time to time, is to be with the people and, and see and hear what, what, what's actually occurring on the ground. Because sometimes different media articles and, and different shows, you know, they, they put their spin on things the way they want to. And so I was able to see things kind of, as I mentioned in the beginning, in the trenches. So we were in the trenches. That was our, our, our big, uh, our, our big mission trip for, for 2023. We have one planned for 2024, uh, and you know, more information, you'll, you'll, you'll hear about that and, and see that uh, through our uh, typical channels, our typical social media channels, press releases, uh, etc. Not only were we able to go to Ukraine, uh, but we were able to go to a neighboring country in Romania where we were able to uh, purchase groceries for close to a, a hundred Ukrainian refugees that had uh, left the country c due to uh, their, uh, their their towns being uh, you know in, in a in a war scenario uh, that, that that was occurring uh, and and so went to the grocery store got the list and we, we uh, got as many items as we could with, with the, the, the amount of money that we had as, a, as an organization. Um, so that was, uh, again, that was, that was the original main, main trip uh, was to head to Romania, but tacked on U Ukraine uh, after speaking with one of our, 
our guest that we had on last year, uh, Dr. Roman Shermita, who uh, who is now the chairman of the board for Ukrainian American House, uh, and uh, I was able to visit him in his brand new university uh, titled American University Kiev, uh, and uh, that was that was real emotional and, and touching to have the opportunity to, to, to do that. Every May 25th is Ben Dodd Voices for Voices Day. So May 25th was when we received our 501c3 status. Uh, and so we created last year in 2023, designated May 25th being Voices for Voices Day. Uh, we are planning uh, uh, a, a, a smaller event uh, for uh, May 25th. I, I believe it, it runs on a, a Saturday here in 2024. Uh, so we're, we're excited to be able to you know, share some of that information as well. So you'll be again seeing and hearing, hearing about all, all that coming. Uh, we kicked off our merchandise shop on off of our uh, or on our voicesforvoices.org site our career center our job board uh, resume building all through the voicesforvoices.org uh, head head through the, the the tabs of you know what we do i believe and and then that takes you down and you can you can go uh, section by section So the gala, so the gala we held um, last, last, uh, last October was just a, it was awesome, just the people involved. We had uh, music from the Goods Band. We had a music therapist who actually is a music therapist at Altman Hospital where my dad is receiving cancer treatment. She came in, uh, hit his first chemotherapy treatment Last year, she came in, uh, you know, travels to the different rooms and asks if, if the patient would like her to play, you know, acoustic music and sing. Uh, and she came in and she played three songs, and it, it was just amazing. I mean, it was so emotional at, at that time. Obviously, you know, we're all crying, we're all sobbing. We just got this diagnosis about my dad. He's getting his treatment. The, He's picking the song, like, or the songs. Uh, I mean, it was just so emotional. Uh, and so I reached out to her, and so she sang the national anthem, played, uh, played some music, too. Uh, we had, you know, Dan Flowers, you know, President CEO of the Akron Kent Regional Food Bank. You know, that's our keynote speaker. Uh, he and he uh, received an award. Uh, Judge uh, Allison Bro, uh, you know, received an award too. Her husband came and accepted on her behalf. She had a competing, a uh, couple competing events at, at that time. wasn't able to make it uh, in in person. Um, and then we were able to just recently, uh, in December, uh, do a day trip to New York City and give uh, an award to. Uh, one of our uh, previous guests that we've had, that his name's Tyrus, and he is a uh, television personality on, on Fox News. He is a former NWA heavyweight champion of the world. He's New York Times best-selling author, uh, sells out comedy shows, and so I was able to, uh, we had him again, you can check out an er earlier episode uh, on our, our YouTube or on uh on the audio version of our, our, our podcast. Uh, but I was, uh, I was able to go meet him in the green room, uh, just have, you know, have some conversation just as like person to person. And then the most awesome thing happened uh, afterwards is I was able to present the award to him in front of the studio audience, which there was about 120, 125 there. Uh, I have a, you know, was able to get a couple pictures um, but I didn't, we don't have a photographer, so uh, I would have loved to have had some of the photos of you know being able to present to him with the audience there. Uh, but nonetheless, it was 
so neat for somebody of his stature to take the time to be responsive and, uh, and, and to make it happen. So it was, it was a really a, a kind of a, a big thrill to be able to, 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 to do that. And then two last things here uh, I want to cover here on this episode is last year, 2023, was big for art therapy and art licensing. Uh, so art therapy, art licensing came about, and now individuals can go to school for art therapy and come out with a, a degree in art therapy and have that be a career that an organization can hire for specifically art therapy. Pre previously, uh, from, from my understanding, uh, a therapist, so I have a therapist, so let's say the therapist I ha have now, she could give some of the treatment through music prior to, the, prior to 2023. She could give some of the treatment through music, but the whole treatment couldn't be 100% music therapy or art therapy. Uh, and so 2023, in the state of Ohio, that's now possible where individuals can, can do that. So that's big for our board member, Heidi LaRue. Uh, we've had uh, on a couple episodes. She was uh, on the ep one of the episodes we had with uh, Dr. Temple Grandin that you can, you can check out. Uh, and so that all, all the more tied to having uh, the, the music therapist uh, from Altman Hospital that uh, came to the cancer ward and, and was uh, playing, played music for my dad and then uh, who, who came in and played at our, at our gala. So uh, that really tied together and she spoke so graciously about that um, at, at, the, at, at the event. Uh, so we're just, we're just ecstatic that more therapy methods are, are becoming known and able to make it a career out of uh, if somebody wants to do that, that they, they can have that be their career. They don't have to dovetail that piece into uh, an, you know, a treatment that's 75% you know, another, you know, other, you know, death, uh, other treatment of ther therapy. And then lastly, three billion people, uh, la I guess it was the, the end of 2022, I, I had this crazy idea that uh, I wanted voices, one of the goals I wanted, or we wanted as an organization, uh, was to help three billion people over the course of my lifetime and beyond. And so as a population, the world population, we just hit, I think, 8 billion. I, I read it the other day. Uh, and so I just, you know, throughout this goal, like, I'm a dreamer, so I'm going to throw out this big goal. And then the craziest things happen. Uh, there was, uh, you know, Dr. Ray Grande has a, has a show on the EWTN network. He just happened to be taping four episodes at Walsh University, where, where I teach. And I went to those, uh, went to those tapings, had the Voices or Voices shirt on, uh, and I was able to ask a question at three of the four uh, while the show was running, while they were t filming, and they, they being the, the EWTN, they didn't edit out my question, uh, any of my questions, and you're able to see the Voices for Voices logo. Uh, as I was asking the question. And so the significance of that and the three billion is this show is uh, available and, and viewable uh, around, I believe it's three or 400, uh, or no, four or 500 million households across the entire world have access to be able to, to watch it. So. Obviously, not every single household is watching it, but if you take that, let's say 400 million, and then the Nielsen rating system uses, I think, the household uh, being like two people plus a percentage point or two, uh, or a, yeah, uh, or a, 
not a full percentage point, but a part of a percentage. So if you take that, multiply that out, you kind of get somewhere, in, or, you know, 800 million or, or so people that potentially could 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 view that. And so the thought was, okay, if I did it, if I I was on three different shows, three different times, take the you know the the, the uh, potential millions of, of of people across the entire world, uh, multiply that times three, uh, you you get not three billion, but you get pretty pretty close. And so that's why I mean it's crazy because when I made kind of proclamation and and uh, publicly brought out that goal, uh, I was even just a little unsure of it myself. Like cause I was I was still I was thinking over the course of the rest of my life of having that opportunity, and for that opportunity to to happen at that time, uh, did we reach the three billion? No. Are we, were we close to it? Maybe. Did every single person in the household watch? No. But we're much closer to that three billion mark than when, when the year started in 2023. So we're just continuing to, to grow with, with awareness, uh, with the, the work that we're doing, the episodes, the, uh, the guests that we're, we're, we're bringing to you, the uh, the, the, the new 2024 bi-weekly roundup where we're you know, going to be having uh, more conversations with you uh, about more, more current events uh, given when we tape these specific episodes, we tape these uh, in advance. Um, so we're going to be able to, uh, to, to, to do some more discussing about you know, what, what, what's happening, what's going on, how I can really make the, make the world a better place. And we're really looking forward to having you uh, on that journey uh, with us, continue uh, on, on that journey. Uh, and again, be on the lookout for the uh, fourth uh, annual Brand New Day Gala uh, date and time uh, that, that will be coming for, forthright in, in the next couple months. Uh, and you, you don't you don't want to miss it. Uh, we we bring some we we bring a, a lot of energy. Uh, the people to come have a good time, have good food, have good entertainment, uh, excellent speaking speakers, uh, the awards. Uh, it just just can't. Uh, and I'm not just saying it because it's my organization, but if I look at other organizations who have been around a lot longer, we're we're doing a lot of great things, and a lot of great, a lot of great people uh, are um, are ge- are getting word of Voices for Voices. So, if you can help us out, if you can subscribe, if you can donate, uh, if you check out our our uh, career website. Uh, it, again, Voices for Voices is the organization. Uh, we're we're grateful to be able to you know come in uh, to uh, come to your screen, whether it's a TV, iPad, computer, uh, whether, whether that's you know uh, on on the uh, audio version, uh, on, on the you know, all, all those platforms. So again, thank you for letting us be a part of your your life. And until next time, I'm Justin Allen Hayes, founder and executive director of Voices for Voices. And please be a voice for you or somebody in need.